Welcome to uh, the Shortwave Radio Channel. And uh, one of the questions that I had from a viewer, and you know, it's a question that we get all the time. I've talked about it in uh, the past, and of course, it has to do with the fact that portable radios have one weak point that is easy to actually break the radio, and it's static electricity on the telescopic antenna. So when you use a telescopic antenna, one of the biggest problems that you get is the risk of zapping the radio's uh, amplifier by RF amp by just touching it and getting some static electricity. So, of course, what do you do? Well, um, this is mostly a problem in the wintertime because usually summertime, it's more humid. Uh, humidity is high enough that it, you know, you don't get zapped as often. And uh, you'll notice that in the winter with uh, heating, indoor heating, it usually gets very, very dry in homes. And if you, you know, walk across the rug or sit down on the couch, that brushing of yourself, your clothes against, you know, material makes you basically a charge and if you go and touch the antenna you might actually zap the amplifier it's probably and i would you know there's no statistics on this but i wouldn't be surprised that when i see somebody telling me my radio's gotten deaf that it probably is one of the major cause of the radios becoming deaf and broken so what do I do in general? And, you know, it's not always easy to think about it, but in general, what I do is simply touch any metallic object. If you have a desk, my desk has metal underneath the wooden desk. So I just touch one of the metal legs of my desk. And it's actually, I'm going to, if I have a static charge, it's going to discharge through the leg of the, of the, of the desk. But keep yourself something metallic that you can touch even better if it's something metallic that you know once an example that i did is um, here we have electric eating what i would do is keep on one side of the uh, electric eater on the metal a alligator clip that would go up to my desk and every time i would actually do something i'd touch the alligator clip if i had a charge it'd just go there because the electric eater is grounded so find yourself a way to touch some metal object to discharge yourself and even better try to make it a habit because if you don't think about it uh, some days your charge the static charge that you have can be so high that touching the antenna will break the radio and the amplifier is going to go deaf it's unfortunately probably the number one thing that is the weakest link of a portable. Uh, the other question that comes also with this is, well, do you have to worry about outdoor wire antennas? Well, yes, outdoor wire antennas can technically um, have a certain charge on them. So if you are to plug them into a portable radio, have the tip of the connector uh, touch once again uh, so anything that is grounded or metal to kind of you know take away the charges there but remember even when you do that uh, an outdoor wire if it's long with the wind snow and all of that uh, it can actually get a charge even when you're using it with the radio uh, what do you do about that well some people have these little you know discharged circuits that they have on the antenna where if the uh, electricity or the static gets too high, it typically discharges. Somewhat what uh, they will do is put a resistor. So you could put a resistor on the antenna to ground, but a high value resistor so as not to short to ground the antenna. And what's going to happen is that resistor is enough to just drain the current to the ground all the time. So there are things like that that you can do. But definitely be careful on that because it's easy to zap. Some radios are 
probably easier than others to uh, do this. Uh, one great example we had in the past that apparently was fixed uh, after it was in production, uh, the famous Sony ICF 2010 or 2001D. The first radios that came out, the uh, transistor, the uh, RF amp, was actually zapped super easily. And they had to actually fix this, actually modify it and change the value or the, the, the transistor they used so that it wouldn't have that problem. But definitely on any portable radios, that is something that you got to be careful. And uh, always touch some metal object before touching the telescopic, especially if it's very dry and if you have carpet. Uh, or you're sitting down on the couch or in a chair, comfy chair sometimes, the cushions, uh, polyester sometimes. That can really, really build up an amazing charge. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.